Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we're going to talk about a new feature that came free with Filmora 11.5 and it is Beautify. It is an effect called Beautify and you can see that in my promo. You see the freckles, the spacing of the eyes, the nose, the mouth, you need to look at everything there. And I'll go real slow. So. Not only did I remove the freckles, I changed her eyes, her nose, and her mouth as well. Okay. Now, this also works well with a moving image. So this girl, we're just going to scroll across. This girl is just walking down with holding some roses. So here she is. And then right here, I turned on Beautify using all of the defaults. I didn't change anything because I'm going to do that right now for you. Let's go ahead and take this clip and first just let's scale up and just look at the face, which is mostly what Beautify does. It works on the face. It can help with some skin tones. And first I'm going to scroll across and make sure her face stays on the screen for me. Okay, we're going to just uh, slide her a little to the right. And let's look at the rest of it. Okay, so yeah, we can clearly see her face all the way across there. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to remove the mask, the, the beautify. And I'm going to show you where that is in the new 11.5. So this will be under effects. Now obviously you want to save it as a favorite, but to find it, you want to go down to utility. So it's right there with the other two new ones they released on the last few versions with remove black background and white background and now we have beautify so we're going to take beautify and just drag it and drop it right on top of the clip now immediately see it lightened up so you can see that it does something right away before you even go in to adjust anything and you probably saw this white pillar get lighter but really it's trying to work on the whole face image so it, it lightened up her face so we're just going to start right where the uh, playhead is, and I'm going to double click and bring up the effects. We're going to turn it on there, and now you can start to see all of the stuff you can do, and it's a lot. So first is just overall beauty, and we're going to go through every one of these, don't worry. Next is face. Look at this. Shrink the face, change the mouth type. We're going to actually do all that. Uh, unfortunately, in this clip, her eyes aren't showing as well as the previous one, uh, but we can see a few differences. And nose, we can definitely adjust the nose. Let's go back to overall beauty and just look at red. And so first what we're going to do is I'm just going to slide this to 100%. Now you watch the screen over here. And don't watch me over here. <laughs> so this is 0%. And this is 100%. In this case we see very little difference because of the way that the clip was filmed. So the redden doesn't really help us too much. Let's go for smooth. That's 100. That's 0. Does anybody see any difference? I can see very little difference, but I can see some, but not enough to make a difference. Let's go for whiten. I'm going to back it down. Now we're going to see something. That's 0, and that's 100. That's all kind of like an exposure blowout, overexposed. I'm going to set that back to 30. But think about that, how that whiten can help your shots uh, if you are uh, got overcast or just in a dark room or something. So let's go with hairline. Now I want you to watch right here under the hat. Sadly, this one has a hat on, but we can still see, so, see what happens. So watch right there. And I'm going to bring it to zero. You can already see it move. And I'm going to go real slow to 100. Did you see it? Very subtle. You see it now, right? When I go fast, you see what's happening. So it's really trying to move the hat in this case instead of the hairline. But imagine um, the hat not being there. So you can see how that can benefit you. Now we're going to work on the cheeks. Zero, 100. Zero, 100. Zero, 100. 
It's there. It's subtle. It plumped her cheeks a little bit. Okay. That one is not doing anything, which means it doesn't need anything. And white and teeth, well, we can't see her teeth. So um, there's nothing we can do there. I have two beautify effects running. I just noticed I'm going to turn one off. Okay, let's go to face. You're going to see some stuff now, guys. We're going to shrink her face. Zero. Okay, now clearly you saw that. I want you to look mostly on the cheek, the chin, and right below the lips. We're going to do that again. Zero. Normal face. Shrink the face. Okay, that's not bad, but now her jaw doesn't really look right to me. So let's uh, let's mess with the jaw a little bit. Look at that. I'm just going to roll that mouse back and forth so you can see. Okay. Now let's narrow the face. See how it went in? Pulled the whole face in. So we're making her uh, look a little smaller. Shin. Face. Shape. Watch closely. Okay, it's not the hair that's moving. It's the face area in here that's moving, which pulls the hair in. We're going to do that again. Okay. Now, everything is looking pretty good here, except the cheekbone doesn't look right to me. So we're going to move the shirt, the cheekbone now. See it move? I don't know what this is. Pithrum length. But you can see where, oh, it's the space between your nose and your mouth. Now I know what it is. I forgot. So you can see that. We're going to move that space. Drop the mouth down. Raise the mouth up, which actually makes it look like more of a smile. Now we're going to change your mouth. <laughs> it's crazy that you can do this, right? So there's zero. Pretty wide mouth. Make it small. So now we're kind of shrinking her entire face in. We've shrunk pretty much everything but the nose and we're getting there now because we shrunk all that the chin looks a little long to me look at that now, that's really long that's funny looking and then we'll bring it back now we kind of got her going the way we want her before we make any further changes let's watch her as she moves now all of those changes stay look at that now maybe that's not how you want it but I'm just demonstrating everything for you Okay, I'm going to go to a spot where her eyes open. Back it up a little. There. Okay, let's go with that, that spot. Double click. We'll go to effect. We already did beauty. We already did the face. Let's work on that eye. Okay, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit so you can see where I'm talking about right here. Enlarge the eye. Small. Big. It's very subtle, but I think you can see that moving. Let's give her a big eye. Let's round the eye. You see where you see it round? Wow. So it looks like she's got big, wide open eyes now. Eye distance. I'm going to have to move this a little bit where I can see both her eyes at once. There. She turned enough for us. So we're going to change the distance between the eyes. Start with zero as usual. See them close in, spread out. I know it's subtle, but that's okay. Now we're going to change the angle of the eye. Mm, I can see it. I can see this roll slightly to the right, slightly to the left. Look very close while I do that. I'm going to just do a roll back and forth. See it moving? The angle moving? Now you can see it. Okay, I'm just going to set that back to zero. Open Kenth. Us. I do not know what that is. Let's go back to where we can see her eye and we'll try to brighten it. Mm. Might not be the best clip for the brighten eye, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Same brighten up. Boom. Let's leave them bright. Remove dark circles. Well, this girl doesn't have any dark circles, so we're not be able to do anything there. Open external canvas. Okay, I think they're talking about the distance below the eye. Right around in there, I think. 
I'll have to Google that one. I'm not 100% sure, but that's where the movement is. I'm going to leave it back to zero. And finally, we're going to go for the nose, and we actually left that in a pretty good spot to see the nose. But first, I'm going to go back to basic. I'm going to scale up a little more for you. So you can really see that nose. Back to the effect, and we're going to narrow nose. Watch it shrink. Big nose. Skinny nose. Nose length. Nope, this won't give her Pinocchio nose, but you can see what happens. Pull that nose in. See how that nose drops downward? We'll pull it in. And finally, we're going to do a profile rhinoplasty. I know. Here it goes. Okay. Did very little. And it's so subtle that I don't even think you can see it. And it's because her nose just doesn't need it. So if it doesn't need it, it doesn't need it. That's everything in the great part about this is now that we've set everything we've set eye brightness nose mouth cheeks chin everything it retains all of that as the subject moves watch this let's look for those bright eyes there okay got a little shakiness here let me finish uh, the processing i'll just force it real quick give me a second you always want this red line gone when you're previewing, guys. Because sometimes the, the, whatever the effect is you applied uh, will be jerky or may not even be there yet. Okay, now we're ready. Let her roll. And we're looking for those bright eyes to make sure everything is the way we set it. There it is. Bright eye right there. I do got it scaled up pretty high, but uh, still... And that's it. Freckles? No freckles. Actually, I did quite a bit of work in this one. As I mentioned, I moved the eyes. I changed them. I changed the nose. I changed her mouth. I did everything. Uh, and over here, uh, this one is completely untouched. No effects. Get you a very close view. No effects whatsoever. Default. And boom. Turn them on. So let's just jump. Let's uh, let's remove that and remove that, so you can we can jump back and forth. Looks like a different girl. Get a little redder on the skin. Chin is smaller. Mouth is bigger. Eyes are wider. Nose is smaller. So why do you want to do this? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, least of which is to do what I just did. I just did that to demonstrate. You don't really want to take your subject and turn them into a different person. If you do, just go get a different person. Uh, the main benefit of this is your environmental stuff around you. Uh, there may be shadows. Uh, maybe there is a uh, complexion issue you want to just kind of touch up or remove real quick, uh, depending on your shot. Uh, maybe you're doing a mascara uh, advertisement and you really want to focus on those eyes. So you can do all of that stuff. Uh, if you've got shadows, you can brighten things up. If you're doing a toothpaste ad, you can change the whiteness of the teeth. So there you go, guys. New feature, 11.5.1. But I believe it's just called 11.5 for before you when you download it. And that is something I wanted to show you. And there you go. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Leave me some comments. And we'll see you real soon on the next Filmora video.